So here we have um, a Samsung Galaxy S5 um, phone. Uh, and actually I'm using what's called an OTG cable here. You can uh, get these on eBay for about three or four dollars. And that's playing out right now to an AudioQuest Dragonfly, which absolutely does not play with the iPod Touch, not at all. Um, and you can see, or maybe you can hear very slightly, that Nick Cave is uh, screaming his lungs out through my earphones here. Now let's try and hook up Nick Cave to the Mojo. Now the moment that the sound is coming out of the, the phone itself, um, but if I plug in the Mojo like this, it should turn the Mojo's light red and the music should come out um, of the Mojo. Alas, it looks like that's not happening. The, the music is still coming out of the phone, the phone has not recognized the Mojo. And this, pause that. This highlights one of the big problems with Android platform is that some Android phones support USB audio coming out of here and some do not. Now just because the Mojo isn't recognized by the Samsung phone at the operating system level, that doesn't mean all is lost. There is an app called USB Audio Player Pro for Android, which does recognize um, external USB devices like the Mojo. The restriction is that you have to play music with inside this app only, so that rules out Spotify, Tidal. So the lesson therefore is that you need to check before dropping your 600 bucks on the Mojo, you need to check whether your portable device will play ball with it. Of course, not everybody's going to use the Mojo with their phone or iPod Touch. Many, many people will, will want to use this as a desktop DAC, myself included, or even a full system DAC. Um, you can obviously connect the USB data port here to your Mac or PC. Um, but you can also use this as a, a, just a standalone DAC by holding down the, the two volume buttons whilst powering on. And now the Mojo is ready to operate in line level mode. So obviously you wouldn't connect headphones to here whilst this is operating essentially at full volume. 